What's up guys, it's Jason with Napier Photography and 3D and today I'm going to teach you muggles how to make butterbeer. So, for all of you guys that are in the know, butterbeer is probably the most amazing thing if you've ever if you've gone to Universal Studios and you've gone to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and you've had butterbeer you know exactly what I'm talking about but for those of you that love the books and you you've seen it on TV and you've watched them drink the butterbeer and you're thinking oh my gosh I wonder what that tastes like it sounds kind of interesting let me first go ahead and tell you guys butterbeer is non-alcoholic I think they have an alcoholic version but that's not what we're doing today so I have a recipe that I developed and it's based off of, I hate to say it, I'm pretty guilty of at least having two butterbeers a day at Universal. And so between myself, my son, and my wife, we are pretty much connoisseurs of butterbeer. Now, at the park, we go and we usually get one in the morning and one in the evening. And I don't know, after a while, you get on the internet and you look at how people make butterbeer. And I thought, I think I can really come up with a really cool recipe and it's going to taste pretty much like it. So after many, many trials, <laughs> I have come up with a surefire as close as you can get to butterbeer. So if you're in love with the Harry Potter series and you want to try butterbeer, but you're not going to be going to Universal Studios anytime soon, you're going to absolutely love this. It's really simple. Anybody can do it. And you can kind of vary the recipe up. But let me just first show you just a little bitty video of what it looks like when you go to the park and they make your butter beer. So roll the B-roll. Let's put this together. Let's see what this tastes like. So we're gonna add we're gonna add, see if we can do this slow without, oh, it's getting everywhere. Okay, we're gonna add that. We're gonna add the, uh, the a &W cream soda to this. Okay, we're gonna add the, add that. Oh, that's gonna be so good. So, there is your a &W cream soda. You're gonna take your, you're gonna take your Smucker's Sunday syrup butterscotch. This is the money maker. You're gonna add this in, okay? Now see, I'm not being, if you guys can see, I'm just adding it on here, okay? And you can add as much as you want. I want mine to be nice and yummy because the more butterscotch, the better it tastes. Oh, it's so good. So you add that, put that here, all right? See that? You don't want it to be too fizzy. You want it to kinda of just sit in there. Now, right now, mine's at the bottom. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take a spoon and lightly stir that up. Oh, Merlin's beard, it's like magic. All right, so enough magic. You muggles can't handle my magic. Oh, real quick, let's talk about something. Check out this. If you didn't see it in my other video, this is my Gryffindor shirt that I bought this last time we are at Universal. And a couple times ago, let that focus, check out my Gryffindor hat. What? Pretty cool. All right, let's go back to this. So we're going to take our spoon and we're going to stir in that uh, butterscotch. We don't want to like we don't want it to get too crazy fizzy, so we're going to add that and we're just going to mix it in like so. Okay, now we're going to get this like this. Then you're going to get your bowl and you're going to add the heavy whipped cream with the the butterscotch toffee. So once you've got that mixed. You're gonna need a bowl to put your heavy whipping cream in. And so I just realized I don't have a bowl. If only I had a bowl. Akio magic. Yeah! <laughs> it is magic. This is a, a World Series of Poker uh, little mug that I've got. So we're just gonna add the heavy whipping cream. So slide this up so y'all can see. And I'm just using this as a bowl. You could do this in a smaller bowl. But you're gonna add, so y'all, can y'all see that being added? I'm not gonna do a crazy amount because I'm just adding this to mine. You wanna do it to enough, you wanna do it to enough to where you have enough for your drink. And then add the syrup. So you're gonna add the syrup and 
the syrup on top. And I'm not, I hate to tell you this, but the more the better. It's going to taste a lot better. And you're just going to, obviously with a whisk, you're going to do this, uh, you're going to whisk this in until it's nice and frothy. Until it's really, really frothy and thick. And I don't have a whisk down here in the studio, so I'm just going to, sorry for the noise, but you want it to be thicker than this. You don't want it to taste milky when you do this, okay? You want it to taste more, more butterscotchy because that's the actual topping. Add your topping. Can y'all see that being added, how that looks? Just put it on the top and it makes its way to the top. The more you whip it around, the better. Okay, see, so can y'all see that's making it nice and foamy on the top? I think the, the more you whip it, the better it lays on the top and doesn't go down into it. There you have it. There is your very first butterbeer. See the foam on the top? Yeah. Check out the foam on this butterbeer. So now all we have to do is try it and let's see if this thing tastes like Universal's butterbeer. Merlin's Beard, your butterbeer is amazing. I gotta say guys, my butterbeer is amazing. I mean, I mean Universal's is really good, but I have to tell you, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty daggone close. This is pretty close. I mean, I know this is, this is, uh, you know, this is uh, something I made from home, but I gotta say it's pretty good. So let's recap. Let's talk about this here. Let's recap. So, super, super easy. All you need, a and cream soda, something to put it in, some butterscotch syrup, heavy whipping cream. Add the soda, add the butterscotch to the soda, stir it lightly, then add the heavy whipping cream that's been mixed with some more of the butterscotch. Whip it strong onto the top and just add it on nice and slow. And then you get a nice cup of butterbeer. Oh yeah. I'm, I, I, I'm really, really impressed with how good this tastes. So, you know, and the topping. The topping's what does it. So, if you wanted to know how to make butterbeer, now you know. I'm glad I could help you out. So that's all tonight. That's all the magic I can give you muggles tonight. So if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell because we're going to be doing more videos like this. Photography videos, 3D printing, which is something I'm about to go do right now in just a minute. And uh, if you like it, subscribe. I'm looking forward to sharing more content with you guys. And uh, until we meet next time, talk to you later.